we've got some E3 news today. Howdy folks, my name is Stelly111 and today I'm going to be showing you off some E3 news as well as some just gaming news in general. As Halo 5 has been announced earlier today as Halo 5 Guardians. It will be coming out autumn, or if you're in America, fall of 2015. It looks very, very different from other games and as you can see, a image of Master Chief below and an anonymous character above. On to Far Cry 4, it was announced a couple days back now, and Far Cry 4 is coming out on November 18th, 2014. I'm going to go on to some actual legitimate scheduling of the E3 conferences that I've been given, and I'm just going to jump in there and tell you Witcher 3 is going to have some gameplay, I'm going to have 45 minute theatre presentation, at, as I believe, the start of E3. So it'll be the very first day and one of the first, one of the earlier presentations. Techland are also going to make an appearance producing some content for Dying Light, the upcoming similarity game towards Dead Island series, and also the other title, Hell Raid. So they're going to be a one hour long, as well as some Dying Light gameplay and guided presentation of Hell Raid. So if you're going to E3 this year, you will be able to have a chance to play a little snippet of Dying Light. On to other smaller companies, Focus Home Interactive are going to be showing off some content for Blood Bowl 2, Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments, More Time, Stikes, Farming Simulator, Blue Estate and Ethereum. All of these presentations will be about 30 minutes each and all these other games I believe you will be shown some new demos and new information about them. There's hands-on opportunities at the booths for Blue Estate and Ethereum so if you've heard of those games and you're interested you can go there if you are already going to E3. And if you are an interviewer, you can go to see the Farming Simulator crew at their booth. 11-Bit Studio are going to be showing off The War of Mine for a 30-minute with some hands-on time. So you can go and see that. Flying Wild Hog are going to be announcing a previously unannounced title. This is going to be about 30 minutes and also some of you are going to get some hands-on time at E3. As well as Flying Wild Hog, Nordic Games are going to be announcing a title and again with 30 minutes presentation. Switchblade Monkeys are going to be showing off some of Secret Ponchos and this we do not know how long it's going to be. Anyway, so thanks for watching, that is some news for you for E3 and also keep you up to date with gaming news. Some of these games look excellent and I hope to bring you with some more news as soon as I know about it. Thanks for watching, please drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe. My name is Stelly111, peace off.